These are the stories about the people who live in Bristol and the things and activities that are their passions. This is John Barnett. John has an unusual hobby. John likes to carve totem poles. He doesn't do it for money. I started this playing with this wood last year, about late July, early August. I did my first one over there. My neighbor cut down his maple tree and I took down the, uh, I took the tree trunk to it. I didn't know what I was doing. I borrowed my neighbor's electric chainsaw, used chainsaw, wood chisels. I burned his chainsaw up, went and had to buy him a brand new one. So when I did, I bought me another, I bought me an electric chainsaw, which seems to be working pretty well for what I'm doing. And I'm just ordering tools as I see new tools or see things that make it easier. John's got a lot of patience. Good thing. Taking this bark off of this, any tree is like a major job. It takes hours and hours just to take the bark down to the, take one layer of bark and there's like another yellow layer that's wet. You have to take it off, at least I have been. I'm not sure that any college offers a degree or even a class in totem pole carving. Like I say, I don't have the proper tools for all of this and I'm not, I'm not a professional. I consider myself a, I guess a no talent amateur with this right now. But I tell you what, I can come out here, rough day from work, stay here a couple of hours, and just just lose myself in this stuff right here. I can just I enjoy it so much until my hands start to cramp so bad I can't move them, and I have to stop. And I've got all my wood, all my logs. I've I've gotten, I've gone out on my own, pulled them out of the woods, any place I could find big logs. Some of them are, were almost too big for me to even handle. I had to get my neighbor to help me with one of them. But uh, I'm all the time looking at logs down now, every time I go anywhere. <laughs> I don't look at the log as just the wood being down. I look at it and think, wow, what can I make with that? And that's the whole point. John's not looking to change careers. He's got a good job. But this is his found passion. This is what he likes to do. This, this right here beats a good day sitting in the house on the couch doing nothing. And I can't wash my cars. It's about 30 degrees out here, or getting close, maybe a little warmer than that now. And I've, I've been out in all different types of weather doing this. John likes to make some of his pieces personal like this one for his daughter. Well, her name's Raven, she lives in California, and I tried to do Nevermore, I can do better. That was my first attempt there. And then I, uh, I put another Raven, Raven on this side, carved it, carved into the wood and chipped away around the edges. And then I like my man, I think my man's pretty cool. I worked long and hard on that one. John may think that he's not very good, but his work is pretty impressive. It spans from this piece that has a Polynesian feel to this Celtic emblem, and even this one that would have been home at Woodstock. I've made my, made a pretty cool wine bottle it's sitting on the front porch. It was extremely hard to make with a chainsaw and just hand, hand grinders and chisels and anything else I could find that would work. I would love to be able to have the talent to carve a bear out of a big piece of wood, but. I haven't mastered that yet, and I'll probably need something better than an electric chainsaw as well. But, but I went out and bought me some tools, other tools, table saws and stuff, and just gone crazy buying tools. But I like doing it. And these little, these little uh, pieces of wood gives me some good fire starter when we have fires out here in the evenings. Nothing like sitting beside of a fire on an evening relaxing too. Hit my hand more than, and my fingers, more than I'm gonna count. I've had splinters in my hand and arm I didn't know about until afterwards. So I finally got a little smarter and started using some gloves. But, uh, just like I say, it's something pass the time, something that relaxes me, something I enjoy doing. And I hope I continue to do it. And I'm sure the world's not gonna run out of wood, so I've got quite a bit, 
don't have to worry about running out of something to do. I would love to retire and just do this during the day, but that paycheck's nice every two weeks, so I may wait another few years on that. But like I said, the more I do it, the more I learn. When I mess up, I learn. And uh, I just keep on, I just keep on chipping away and chainsawing. I like this one so far. I like the beak on this one. I've carved out and not a perfect, but I think it's kind of cool myself. And like I said, I'm the only one that has to like it. I'm sure my neighbors drive by and see me out here working on this stuff and wonder if I've lost my mind. And, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to leave John with his latest creation, and I want to remind you, if you do something that you're passionate about in the way of a hobby or an unusual profession and would like to see it featured on BTN TV, drop me an email at jdunham at bristoltn.org.